Breaking news, the report from the Federal Reserve about the failure of Silicon Valley Bank, it's out. Guess what, who they're actually blamed for? The media, individual investors, the managers and the supervisors. In a small little sense on the side, they're saying that, you know, the Federal Reserve failed to actually forcefully impact towards the actual regulations of this bank. The Federal Reserve out with a report about the failure of Silicon Valley Bank, uh, in which it will blame SVB, it will blame the supervisors, and it will talk about changes that need to be made. In the first case, it says that SVB was a textbook case of mismanagement, that it failed to manage basic interest rate and liquidity risks as well. But the supervisors at the Fed failed to take forceful enough action after they recognized these problems. They missed the risk created by SVB's meteoric growth uh, during and after the pandemic. For example, the bank failed uh, before SVB could be downgraded, even though downgrade discussions began months earlier in November. It demonstrates weaknesses in regulation and supervision, according to the report, and regular stand regulatory standards for SVB and indeed for banks its size were too low, the report says. Also, some blame here for the board of directors who failed to oversee senior leadership at the bank. Among the key findings, social media and technology to, combined with a concentrated deposit base that may have made, may have made fundamental changes in the speed of bank runs. Banks, it finds, can create contagion even if they're not that big or even that highly connected in the system. And the Fed should boost capital liquidity requirements for firms that don't meet certain standards, even the ones that are the obvious ones, but other standards as well. It should toughen rules on unrealized gains and losses on the available uh, for sale portfolio and also on compensation programs for executives. The biggest shock over here, guys, is that in November, the bank was actually degraded. So they knew since November that this particular bank has extremely high chance of failure and default. But guess what? Nobody decided to do anything about it. Crazy as it sounds, back in December, I start posting a lot of content for bank defaults related to the current D, especially related to the hiking up of the interest rates and how this will impact to the small regional banks. I still cannot believe that the Federal Reserve actually blames the media and the social media and the people who are actually mentioning the news in real time about the bank. They're saying that this is the, one of the reasons why the bank runs are still possible, are still happening. And it's not like, hey, we, we knew that this is going to happen three, four, five months ago. Uh, we knew the bank is at risk. We didn't do nothing about it. We wait until the bank actually failed. Then we wait until people spread the news that the bank is failing. And then, you know, people were the one who destroyed the bank. It was not just the bank's managers or the, or the management or the operations, right? Crazy. So what? Don't tell me that they were just figuring out the SVB case. Don't tell me that they were not aware of the signature bank. Don't tell me that they were not aware of a First Republic Bank either. Remember, the Federal Reserve has a system in place in real time reports the level of liquidity, the level of exposure, the ratio between the actual cash and the actual assets that could be turned into cash right away. A high value assets, as you may have guessed. This particular report reminds me of the report about the, the, the GameStop saga. While they said that, you know, as he said, there was no short squeeze, the price of GameStop went high, usual in a natural manner simply related to buy and sales nobody got squeezed nobody got liquidated i don't know guys let me know what do you think about this report do you think the report is actually related to the to the, to the real events or is something very abstract something not related to the case at all